Tell me honestly, when was the last time you cleaned your Cricut mat? For me, it's been quite a while, so I want to test out a few methods that I've seen floating around to see which one works. My name is Kelly and let's get clacking. Getting a new mat is incredibly exciting. They're all shiny, they're all clean, and then after a little while, everything goes to you know what, and they end up looking something like this, or this. At some point in your mat's life, you're gonna have to realize that cleaning your mat is not the best thing to do. You may just simply need to, unfortunately, get a new one, but, for me, I like to do some kind of preventative maintenance in order to try and extend the lifespan of your mat as much as possible. What you can do is you can give it little cleans every so often, even while it's still sticky, to make sure that it stays sticky for as long as possible. So that's what I've done with one of my mats and I'm going to show you some of the methods that I used with small caveats here and there. Because this mat is kind of the worst, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with this one. So I'm gonna pack the other ones away and we're gonna focus on this baby. I'm going to take the one half and do the one method and the other half I will use another method on it. So we're going to be using two different kinds of green stuff today. I have winter green rubbing alcohol and then I have some water mixed with sunlight soap. A little bit of sunlight soap, only a few drops in here mixed with a little bit of water. Obviously this is for us here in South Africa, for you in America. I've heard that Dawn dish soap is the correct one to use for this method. But unfortunately we don't have Dawn dish soap down here, so I kind of just have to make do with what we have. I also have an old toothbrush, um, this is a bamboo toothbrush, which I'm going to be using to gently massage the mat. I know that a lot of people also say that what you can do is to rub off all of the sticky stuff and then respray your mat. You know, you first tape off the side sections here because these go under the rollers and if you get any gunk under there, it could go into your machine which will void your machine's warranty. Gunk up your machine, not a good idea. So if you are respraying your mat, please be very careful. I have resprayed a mat before. I really didn't like the way that it came out. So for me, if my mat is at the end of its life, I like to let it go to the place where it can rest eternally and I use a new mat and use preventative maintenance to try and extend the lifespan of that mat. So for the sake of an accurate test, I'm going to cover the other side of the mat. Stick that down a little bit because it is still a little bit sticky. As you can see, it's not that sticky, so it's a good test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just give a few very light sprays on this, just on the section on the side here, just so that we can see what we're working with. So we've got a little bit sprayed over here and we're going to just gently rub it. Now, I really don't want you to be putting very much pressure here, just to make sure that we aren't rubbing off all of the adhesive. I've even got a bottle of water, which I'm going to just use to make sure that this doesn't dry out too much. So if you can see that, that's a little bit of hair and things like that that have all been clumped together, which we're now pulling off our mat, which is great. So I'm gonna put you into time-lapse mode while I clean the rest of this mat. Okay, as you can see, this half of the mat looks amazing, but time will tell whether it is still sticky or not. So what we need to do is we need to rinse this off under the tap. So I'm just going to quickly go and rinse this off under, obviously, a tap. <laughs> Shocker. And we're going to let it dry a little bit while we work on the other half of the mat. A few moments later. Okay, so you may be able to tell that it obviously looks um, a little bit wet now, which is great. So we can also just move some of that off the side. The moisture, kind of push it off a little bit. You definitely don't want to dry this with a cloth. This is what we can dry off table now. Typically what you would do, obviously if you're doing this to your entire mat, is you would just hang it up 
let it dry overnight. I wouldn't say leave it in the direct sun, but leave it somewhere where it'll get warm and it'll dry off quite easily. And theoretically, it should be dry uh, the next day. Now, also, if you look here, this is the stuff that I managed to get off the mat. It's mostly leather, leather bits, leather pieces, um, genuine, genuine leather, but this is obviously what was stuck to the mat so we got it off the mat which is great we can essentially carry on with the second section which is alcohol rubbing alcohol a few of the disclaimers on rubbing alcohol that i want to mention be very careful when you're working with rubbing alcohol on your mat it will strip your mat down if you use too much of it so when it comes to rubbing alcohol i like to work slowly and this is where I like to use it as more of a preventative maintenance than something where you would be taking a mat that's potentially this soiled or this damaged and kind of be doing what I'm doing now. So this is going to be a little bit more of an ultimate test for the rubbing alcohol, but I'd still like to see how it fares against its partner and if it can do us any justice and get the mat looking as good or as sticky as that. And then we'll be able to tell which method is best for cleaning our mats. One of the things that I like to use for this method is some alcohol swab. Now, it does go very slowly with the alcohol swabs, but obviously you know that you're not going to be putting too much rubbing alcohol on one spot at a time. So you take the alcohol swab. I like to put it in between my fingers like that and gripping it up with the other fingers on the other side just so it's a little bit easier to use. And then you just rub it around in circles like that. Again, not pressing too hard. And as you can see, it works quite nicely like that. Now another thing that I like about this method is that because it's alcohol, it obviously pretty much evaporates instantly. So you don't have to rinse your mat off and wait for it to dry. But like I said, it is a little bit more difficult and you have to be more careful with this method because you can potentially damage your mat if you use too much rubbing alcohol. Or potentially even if you do this too often, I'm not sure. But as you can see, this little tiny alcohol swab is making quick work of all this damage. Fingers do start cramping after a while though. And then what you can do if your alcohol swab gets a little bit dirty, you can flip it over to the other side. And if you have some rubbing alcohol in a bottle like this one, you can even just do that very, very lightly. Maybe even squeeze some of it out, because like I said, you don't want to have too much rubbing alcohol on your swab at a time. As you can see, it's a little bit soaked, but it's not, it's not too much. And then we can just carry on with our little circles or up and down motions, either whatever floats your goat. <laughs> Okay, so we can see how dirty this is. It is quite a dirty, both sides, yuck. So I think that's all on our mat. So I'm actually going to retire this piece of alcohol swab um, and I'm going to use another one. <clears throat> I honestly use these for practically everything. They are fantastic uh, and they're really cheap. Um, and they're, you know, foil and paper, so I don't really, I don't really mind about too much about like plastic waste going to the landfill because they are obviously, um, as far as I know, better on the environment. Okay, so again, put it between your middle finger, bring your index finger and your ring finger up to kind of secure the alcohol swab, and then you just move it around. I'm sure you could get a tool to do this as well if there was a, a tool or something that you could use. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to use that too. But uh, I've got five tools here and five tools here, so I'm going to use them. <laughs> my tools are cramping, my tools are cramping. This piece of alcohol swab is also not looking so lacquer, so we're going to take a third one. But I mean, look at the progress that we've made on the mat. Like, it is incredible, and it was actually a lot quicker than that side, which, not going to lie, I am surprised about, even though I have used this method before. It's always surprising when it goes a little bit faster. Now, just because my fingers are cramping, I'm going to use these pieces as a, like, a, a sponge. Don't know what that is or where that came from, but it's gone now. Okay, so that's our third alcohol swab down. Oh, so we're pretty much done on this side of the mat, which is fantastic. Um, and like I said, it's pretty much almost instantly dry because it's alcohol, so it pretty much evaporates immediately. So if I have to 
that's a lot of stick so I'm very impressed with this method like I said I've used it a couple times before I'm, I'm gonna say this about a hundred times be careful to not use too much rubbing alcohol on your mat because it could damage your mat so use it very sparingly I might even just take one more piece of rubbing alcohol and just to kind of clean it up a little bit more as I feel like I could do a little bit of a better job a whole box of 200 of these is about 30 to 50 rand for those of you in America it's around two to four dollars or so for the whole box so it's really cheap and you really don't have to worry about you know being super stingy with them or anything so you see there's still more stuff coming off here as well so it really can help to give your mats a nice little bit of a clean I'm super 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 happy with that and I'm probably gonna carry on for like another five minutes story of my life okay now I'm now I'm legitimately going to stop again lots of stick on that one if we test the other side i'm not 100 percent sure it is dry yet it looks quite dry so okay very good that has a bit of a lip there so that's why it's not um but if we do the same <laughs> amazing legitimately like if we do a bit of test on either side Okay, so they're both super sticky. So I've pretty much 100% revived this mat. Um, obviously, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you a before and an after, and we can see, and we can even do a little bit more of a close up. So this is the rubbing alcohol side that we're looking at now, and we can see how there are still some fibers and things like that on the mat. And if we move over to the other side, it looks very much the same. Um, it didn't quite take all of this out, which is a little bit of a pity, but um, it should be all right. And then up here, we didn't really manage to get a lot of this out either, um, which I'm sure if we had to, you know, use with rubbing alcohol that we would be able to get it out. So if we just zoom that out again. Yeah, if I had to use maybe the swab that I used last to get some of this stuff off. And that looks a million times better. Yeah, so I really hope that this was a helpful video for you. I know that cleaning a mat is something that we all need to do from time to time. And like I said, I like to do it more preventatively than reactively. Obviously, this was kind of one project that I'd worked with leather that had soiled this mat quite significantly. So I hadn't actually used it in a while, but it's always great to be able to revive your mats a little bit or to, you know, proactively maintain their lifespan. Because I mean, at the end of the day, it is plastic that we are sending to the landfill so I admire you for wanting to extend the lifespan of your mat because you know the less plastic we can have going to the landfill the better. If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Cricut tips and tutorials and crafts in the future. I will see you in my next video and remember be kind to someone today. See you soon!